Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a Country Craft Creations Seasons of Creativity unboxing to share with you. I have already posted a video of me unboxing my, my actual design team um, kit that I created with. It's also in here. Um, but this is just to give you a look at what you could get when you subscribe for this subscription at Country Craft Creations. So this is for the October 2024, which we just hit the one year mark. And um, it is sold out right now. So after everything gets shipped out, they will open up um, where you can sign up again. So they'll open up the registration for the next subscription box which will be February, so three times a year. Um, these get shipped out, and basically what the, um, you know, what you get in a box is enough projects to keep you going for, you know, a, four months. So basically a project a month. We have bonus projects. Um, there's just a lot of, like, fun stuff that happens, and there's a monthly newsletter. But this is a Country Craft Creation subscription, so I will have the link um, in the description box below, but like I said, registration is not open yet. If you want me to let you know when it does open, um, put that in the comments and I'll keep a little list. And then as soon as it is available, I will um, get back to you and let you know, but we're going to go ahead and open this up. And at the end, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the project that I made. So we will look at that in just a second, but I did take it out of the box already. And then, and I will link below, as always, the other amazing designers that are um, crafting, or should say creating with this um, box this go round. So let me just move this out of the way. CCC has the best like wrapping to ensure that your merchandise does not get damaged in any way. Okay, and I just tucked these in here. Um, <laughs> but I had already opened this up with my actual design team kit, but these will be in here. Um, and every time you get a box, there's some type of like tools or dies or something that you can use on your projects in here. The designers show you different ways to use them. Um, so we, this time we got this nice pair of precision scissors here, um, as well as these Tonic Studios. It's a cutting tool set. So I used the um, distressing one, and then this one is for cutting ribbon. And I said before my unboxing of my package that these, because I'll never put these on there. I'll just have these with my other tools. But don't waste these because you could use these to close up a mini album. You can use them on a Halloween project. So just remember, don't waste them if you're like me that doesn't want them, you know, on your actual tool. So we will, let me, do, I'll just save mine for last. But this is the grab and go kit and that's what I worked with this time. So hold tight because we did kind of already go well we did go through that okay and then this one I think since photo play this is Michelle Allen's project and she okay well, first of all her and Sandy did amazing unboxing videos which I will have those like I said their YouTube's linked below but they're all fancy and I was gonna be funny because I'm so not the fancy one when it comes to technology you guys know that and they're so both of them were so cute and they had this is Michelle's project right here. So I was going to take a piece of paper and be like, Michelle Allen. <laughs> but then I got lazy and didn't want to do that either. But their videos are awesome. So you have to check them out. Even though we show the same product, some of us, you know, we just see different things or we might say different ideas. Just to kind of keep the, the inspo going even though there are projects made with them. Sometimes there's leftovers. You might have an idea for your leftovers, but also them being the actual designer of their project. One, you get to see their sneak peek. So you'll want to go see that. And two, you can kind of, you know, get their take on the collection they were working with. But I'm pretty sure this was Michelle's. So Photoplay Meadows Glow. 
is a collection in she got some nice ooh, nice fall colors okay ginger is my all-time favorite i just love this for fall from country craft creations um i don't know which one this is this is i don't know which one what is that one i was gonna say daredevil but no maybe china but you know it's it's all in the box <laughs> I just know this one. I love this color. And sorry about the light coming through. Again, try to shift a little. It's blinding me right now. I can't even see. Okay, so she has this collection. And I'm going to turn it this way. I knew it was turned around. So Meadows Glow in her project is so adorable, as always. And she does a sneak peek of her bonus project, but these are all the nice, rich fall colors. So for Seasons of Creativity, it is never about the holidays. So you won't ever have like Christmas or Halloween, Easter, none of the holidays are in there. It it's obviously could be about seasons, but then it also could just be like springtime, you know, with farms or it could be crafty. So Tamara changes it up all the time. So just FYI. And if you are a subscriber to the Seasons of Creativity and or if you go to the Country Craft Creations Retreat and or if you order my color card stock, I always tell you guys, save even if it's just a one inch piece or a one by two so you have a swatch in your stash in your room as you go you start collecting all of them especially when you are, are part of like retreats and um the subscription box you could start getting your own swatches of my color because i guarantee you it's so much easier if you have a swatch at home to match up to collections versus what you see online just just a little tip tip for you okay so now this one is miss kim's kim can't stop crafting oh this collection is stunning so this is the collector's essential kit so simple stories simple vintage life in bloom it's just a beautiful collection and i'm telling y'all Kim's project is just amazing as always. They're all like, I mean, seriously, they're all awesome. Let me see. I won't go through detail of every little thing, but you get seam binding with this. So they added in some seam binding. You get the floral bits, the page pieces. Which is very nice and I love that they always give an example on the back because if you do have any type of scraps even if some extra ephemera you can make these you know with things from your stash too and then you have the chipboard is in here somewhere there it is you have the chipboard stickers chipboard stickers let me set this over here and then of course the collection My Seasons of Creativity should have been here like a couple days ago, but Tamara looked it up. It, it went from Utah to somewhere to Seattle to, I think she said LA, somewhere else, back to Seattle to Fife in Washington, everywhere but where it was supposed to go. I'm like, what a waste of, of money and hours to have something go to the state it's supposed to be in and then it leaves the state just to come back. Okay, I'm struggling putting that in there. So you have this beautiful sticker sheet as well as I'll just do a quick little flip through. All of, I just, this collection was so pretty. I love, like, I think this one, I think this was my favorite one. I have this in my stash and I love it. It just has really pretty, vibrant colors. Oh my gosh, I know the blinds are killing me. Okay, so sorry. I don't know why. Where is it even at? 
can't even see where it's coming in at. No, it's loose. But it's creeping in. Right there. Excuse my arm in the way. Did that work? Not really. Why does it... <laughs> I don't know where those lights are coming in at. Okay. Sorry. You guys saw my fat arm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just, I can't. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so I love the butterflies too. I'm like, why when I lift it up just right there, is it reflecting off my phone? I don't actually know where it's coming from. It's so weird. Down here? How did it come from the bottom? Okay, I think that's better. So sorry. It's nothing like a Tiffany video if you don't have some crazy. So pretty. And this collection is just right up Kim's alley. She loves like floral. She's just a girly girl. She likes all the pretty stuff. Not saying we aren't. But okay, we'll get that in later. These never go in when you want them to when you're filming. Okay, so, and if you open up your stuff and look at it, be sure to put them all right back so you don't lose any of the pieces. Just saying. And then each, um, if you go to their channels, each um, instructor will tell you um, like what cardstock they use so you know. That's the only thing, you know, that doesn't come in here in this kit is your cardstock. So... One, you can use whatever color you want, which is awesome. Um, but they will let you know like what they use, if they used a certain ink, etc. Okay, so this one, more seam binding. I just, I love this color, seam binding. So pretty. Love this, of course. And you have the gold. Gosh, why? I'm just struggling. I feel like this should be goldenrod. But I don't know. But of course, beautiful fall colors. So this is Sandy's. And I'll have her YouTube linked. And you guys, her album is the cover. You guys know I love a good cover. Her cover is so pretty. She did so much layering on it. It's just so pretty. And I love this collection. And I haven't used it yet. Is this on backwards? No. So this is Graphic 45 Autumn Greetings. Did I say what the other one? Oh, yes, I did. My mind is mush. I've been doing my design team country craft creation videos for the upcoming retreat. It's just going to be so fun. The Monster Mash retreat is going to be amazing. And, oh, that's so cute. Why do I not remember this paper in the collection? Oh, my gosh. So cute. Okay, we're going to start here. Um, and then we have the uh, Christmas, which is Holiday Magic Virtual Retreat in November. And she added more openings. So if it's something you had wanted to do, hop on over there. And again, Tiffany, try to remember to link that below. Um, but if not, just go to countrycraftcreations.com and go to retreats. And you'll see it in the virtual retreats uh, for the holiday one. Um, it's, it's going to be so fun. So fun. So I'm still trying to finish like what my project even is going to be <laughs> for that one. I, I've shown, I just, I love this collection. I love the critters. My fave. Look at these gorgeous colors. And if you are getting this box, you'll be able to see if you want more colors. Because if you're someone like me who loves to mat, I'm going to want some more you know some more matting colors pumpkins just so cute just a little baby just mm, so sweet and i do love like i love this brown floral page i don't know why but i really like it i love that of course because you know i like my checks and my plans and then you have that so Sandy's project, which I think it is, it's definitely, I think she said maybe eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, but it's, you know, it's like an eight, eight by eight album. 
with the cover she might have made you know bigger to house the paper so you don't have to do a lot of cutting oh my gosh it's so pretty though it's so pretty okay but there you guys go so these oh <laughs> yeah the struggle is real peeps just go watch their their videos they're all professional and sweet and then my videos are just a disaster <laughs> and I can't get it in there we go I forgot to show you my project what I have going on so I'll just do a quick little thing because we did do a walkthrough of this in my other video but I had the grab-and-go kit which is in every box and um i think you can do a one-time no i don't know i don't know if you could do a one-time subscription i don't know don't don't quote me on that but like i said the subscription box is three times a year so every four months you will automatically um get the box you'll get charged automatically and the box will just show up like christmas every four months but um, you always get the grab and go kit and it's awesome. One, I love a good bag. I love storage things. I'm the office supply nerd. I love all those things. And I'm telling you, this one is just so nice and sturdy. I just love, I don't know, I love the feel of this one by Tonic Studios. Um, but what I had in mind was some... Okay, this is some cardstock here. Okay. And... Sorry, I was looking at something as I was saying that. And this is all in there very nicely. I'm just going to quickly pull it out. Okay, so I just I love this bag. Did I say that? Did I say I love this bag? Um, okay, so we have in here and I don't see oh there it is okay so in this one just in case you do get the box and you saw my original haul I had smaller foam squares in my original design team kit it doesn't matter but um just FYI but these are um you could use these on anyone's projects but I did use some of these which you'll see here in a second don't have to use them um, there's lots of elements to use to embellish the project and lots of extras. So you have this here and then we have four, four different colors of the color vibe. Simple Stories color, color vibe that matches the Acorn Lane collection. I just, you're going to see the blue was just calling my name. I really liked the blue with this color here. I don't know if they're official, but I just, I really love these two. And then you have a six by eight, half of a six by eight pad because, so what I show you, we make cards. So we make some cards and I can't, I think I made five cards total. You And I give you ideas of how you can make more if you want to. But then I take those five cards, turn it into a mini album. So for those that don't want cards and want the mini album, this is our little project. So this is what we are working with. And that is everything I use. Only things that were in that bag. That's it. So besides some glue or adhesive. <laughs> but that is everything. So I'll just give a quick little flip through. But I take the cards show you how to turn it into the mini album after we're done with it. and I'm literally I make the cards then some of them we flip and we put in here we glue together etc but just just a cute simple project but still you know I like to have projects that can fit a lot of pictures so I just you know had some fun wanted to use up as much as the, of the elements as possible there still are some extra things left so you never know I mean I I used up the paper pretty well you guys know I, I can use some paper hence why some of these like there's a couple pages that are pieced together with the scraps 
but there are some embellishments left to use up on um, just, you know, scraps that you have from any of these projects. But yeah, so that is what we're going to make. We're going to make this cutie patootie. Thankful for you. As always, with any of these projects, you don't have to do them how we do them. It's your box. You could do whatever you want with your box. You could do the tutorial and then decorate however you want. Or you could decide, you know what? I love this collection. I want to make something totally different. That's the best part. It's yours. Have fun with it. Okay, so I will have linked below Country Craft Creations. Again, this is their Seasons of Creativity subscription box. Um, this is just kind of an idea of what you can get in the box. Sometimes there's four project or four packs. Sometimes there's five packs. It just depends. It varies on what is inside the box. The tools vary. So it, it's just it's just a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. So there you guys go. Definitely um, go check it out if you have not subscribed yet. And if you are a subscription subscriber. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the, the papers in this collection? Have you seen the sneak peeks? And, you know, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And this always is on the 10th of every month. Not every month. On the 10th of the month that it gets released. So October 10th, February 10th, and June 10th um, is when the boxes get shipped out. Well, I say that, but she ships out early all the time. She just, she, she does not mess around at Country Craft Creations. She just gets those things out. And don't quote me, but I, there's been a lot of people that have been overseas or elsewhere that want to do some of these things. I just suggest you email and ask the question because I do know in some cases people want to pay the shipping and want things sent to them and she accommodates that. So again, don't quote me, but don't don't um feel like you can't ask the question but there you guys go hopefully you guys like this i really hope when the time comes and you go to make this little cutie that you um have fun making this project and like i said go check out the other um, designers theirs are amazing as well okay thank you guys so much for watching bye